What's up everybody, Zach Magic here once again, and uh, I'm going to show you our way of beating dead air on expert. <laughs> and uh, we don't use a Jesus spot, we don't use the thing where you have to shoot the crate over and then get to a spot that takes like forever to get to. Uh, we do use a glitch that makes the tanks pretty easy, and uh, I'm going to show you what we do. So, I got Zelda Nerdster on the bottom half, I'm on the top half, he is visiting, and uh, we did kind of a marathon where we recorded this, and the Death Toll Jesus Rock, and the Blood Harvest Jesus Tree all in one night. Good times, and, uh, but anyway, we're playing on normal right now, but uh, this exploit we're going to show you does work on expert. As well as any of the other difficulties, uh, we're just playing on normal because it's just the two of us, and we got two AI bots, uh, so we're not even going to try to do expert with two AI bots, or else it would take all night. But anyway, getting to the uh, rescue vehicle, uh, or the radio, I should say, is pretty easy in this campaign. Uh, you just got to watch out for some, for some stragglers. And uh, especially if you're playing on an expert, because they do 20 damage a scratch, so you want to take your time and maybe grab a sniper at first. But anyway, once you get here, uh, we're going to kill our comms right now, because we don't think they're going to uh, participate in the glitch with us. Uh, so we're just going to in-cap them. And uh, then we're going to call the rescue vehicle. And I'm going to show you how to take care of the tanks, even on Expert, and it makes it extremely easy. Um, and I'm, this this is also our strategy for beating this finale on Expert. This is how we personally beat it uh, to get the What Are You Trying to Prove achievement. Um, so this does work. This is what we use. Um, you don't have to use it, but we recommend it. Um, We've looked at the other strategies uh, that people use to beat this campaign on Expert, and uh, we just like this one the best. So, anyway, I digress. We're going to start it, and then we're going to come here by this caution tape, and the reason that we come out here is because everything, it's just a wide open space, and you can see common infected and special infected coming from a mile away. It's almost impossible for a boomer to get close enough to you to puke on you, which is good. Uh, you'll get some smokers and hunters, but you should all be right next to each other here, uh, ready to melee them off. And uh, I got a shotgun right now, but to be honest, in a wide open space like this, uh, Zelda Nerdster has really got the right idea with the um, assault rifle. And uh, if you're good with a sniper, you should grab that. Um, I just really like the auto shotgun, I don't know why. But you're going to see us use our pistols a lot too, because uh, we don't want to waste ammo, because from this spot to go get more ammo, it is kind of a trek. Uh, so we're going to use our pistols a little bit, and uh, I think we do a s pretty sloppy job uh, this time around, because there's only two of us, it's a lot easier to take care of these hordes that come from the distance when you have all four people in uh, keeping a lookout but we only have two so you'll see us take a bit of damage from the from the hordes and stuff like that but uh, we won't take any damage from, from the tanks and I'll show you why right now the first horde ended and we're gonna rush to the uh, this side of the huge plane and we're gonna crouch in the middle of it and we do this because the tank comes from the other side and you can see his feet right under there he comes from the other side and he tries to go straight at us and I don't I don't think he realizes there's a giant plane there so he just he, I guess he doesn't know that he needs to walk around the plane but he just gets stuck on the other side of the plane and uh, you can see his feet under the plane right there where I'm shooting at and uh, if you're crouched you can just sit here and you can even use your pistols only and you can just blast at his feet and it'll kill him eventually and uh, we took a little bit of damage because I got boomer and we had some horde while we had the tank but uh, 
the tank did not do anything to us because he didn't get near us because he was stuck on the other side of the plane. And uh, that's essentially what the tank glitch or exploit is uh, that we like to use in this level. Because um, really, if you have four people, even on expert, it's really not that hard to get past the hordes uh, if you're out in this open spot like this. Um, it's really a lot easier than you would think. We're just making it look hard because there's only two of us. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the same thing with tank number two. And uh, Zelda Nerdster is going to try a technique that uh, we're going to tell you not to do. And uh, you'll see why. But um, yeah, this is... Uh, that's pretty much how we personally beat Dead Air on Expert. And uh, we got guides on our website for Jesus spots for all the rest of the campaigns uh, that you need for what are you trying to prove. And uh, this is actually, uh, this is the last video uh, that we need to post for that. So I'll probably make a playlist with this in it. Uh, just a playlist called what are you trying to prove. Uh, and it'll have all four of the uh, finale guides that we've made. And uh, every one of these is how we beat the finales on Expert, so they do work. Um, and yeah. You can find a lot more information about this, uh, this trick on our webpage, along with all our other videos and a bunch of strategies that we don't have on video yet, but we have in text on our webpage achievement guides whatever you need we got it so here comes the second tank there's a boomer right there I killed him probably the only boomer in this finale that didn't puke on me but as you can see if you're in the middle of the plane the tank gets stuck right there again uh, something to note is that if the tank if you make a mistake and the tank does get around if you run him all the way around the plane you can get him stuck again so don't worry if he makes it around because all you have to do is run to the other side and get him stuck again and we have done that before and it works uh, what you just saw was uh, Zelda Nerdster light me up with a Molotov because he thought he could chuck it under the plane and light the tank on fire he did light the tank on fire, but he also lit us both on fire in the process, and if we were playing this on Expert, we would have both died. So that's something not to do, just something he wanted to try. Um, but yeah, just killed the second tank, easy. Neither of the tanks did any damage to us at all. Um, and it works on all difficulties, and we're going to get in the plane right now and take off. So that is how to beat dead air, works on any difficulty, and it's what we use, so you should use it too. Until next time, you guys take it easy. And that is how you do it.